we won the the championship. Yes, just just recently. The, just recently. Yeah. Teacher, can can you explain me uh, how can I use JAWS and already? How, how can you use what? I did not quite catch that last part. Could you ask again? Already. Please? Already. Um. Just. L let me write. Yes, please. Already, I understand that, but I don't understand and just and already. What? There's something that you want to do. Yes. Oh, the word. The word. The word. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, already means that you have done something. You have just completed it. For okay. example, if I said, tell me about the Dominican Republic, yeah. you have said, I already told you about the Dominican Republic. You've just done so. Okay. Um, just, just means immediately. In other words, you could have, if it's already, you did it yesterday, two days ago, three days ago. Just you may have done it within the last five minutes. It's very, very recent. So that's the that's the difference between the two. Okay. Thank okay. You. You're welcome. Oh, hi everybody. How are you? Hello. Okay. I know we have people here. Now I, I'm going to um, ask you to do something. I've just had a very, very nice conversation with Granyard asking me to define a few words or explain. If you would like me to explain uh, a word or comment, what I'd like you to do, and I'm typing it up right now, is put them like that in quotation marks. That helps me understand that what you're asking is the meaning of that word. It's not part of the continuation of a sentence because quotation marks are often used to offset and identify a comment. Hi, David. So let me say hi to everybody. Let's do a microphone check and we'll start. Alfredo, how are you? Hi, Dr. Kevin. How are you doing? I am doing well. I'm doing well. Uh, Granyard, hi. We've spoken. It's good to hear you again. Uh, now, is this Kang? K-A-E-N-G? Kang. I'm sorry? Do you hear me? Yes, yes, Kang. I do. Kang. Kang. Yes, yes, I do. Kang. Uh, and I'm getting feedback from someone. I'm getting feedback. From oh, someone. from Pablo. Oh, from Pablo. Yeah. All right, now Hello. let's see. Right, um, now let's Kang. see. Um, Kang. Hola. Yes. Hello. Yes. Pablo, we're yes. getting feedback Pablo, from you. We're getting feedback from you. I'd like know. you. Uh, I'd like we are. Uh, we are. Okay. I'd I'd like you go ahead and I'd mute like yourself. Go ahead and mute yourself. Okay. Until until until. Okay. Until uh, you'd like to speak or ask a question, then unmute, and and we'll uh, we'll hear you. Okay. So um, Kang, where are you from? Uh, where do you live? Thailand. Yes. Thai. Very good. Well, welcome. Welcome. It's good to have you. <laughs> Thanks. Hector. Hello, Hector. Can you hear me? Hector, Vladimir, pause, and I don't have the rest of it. Pause, Bienvenidos. Hector, are you there? Okay. Daniel, how are you? Daniel, you there, buddy? Buenos dias, señor. Oliver, how are you? Oliver, you there? Okay. And Pablo, uh, unmute yourself for a minute and say hello. <laughs> Pablo? Pablo? Hello? Okay, hello? good. Good. Okay, good. 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 All right. We'll good. unmute you. Right. We'll mute you back. We'll mute you back. And then okay. we'll get started. And then we'll get started. Okay. okay. This class, guys, is, is on essay writing. The, this is a very strong introduction class, and what it talks about is how you would construct an essay to pass something like the uh, TEFL class, the taking of English as a foreign language. Uh, with that, the style of American essay writing is different 
from the style of essay writing that may be found in other countries. In fact, it took me a while to learn it because I often think like a European. The way that many of us in our own countries or your own countries have learned to write an essay is by stating the ideas and leading up to a point. In the American essay, we say the point first <laughs> and then say the reasons why we support it. The idea being we want you to get that main idea and then we'll tell you why you think it. It is, it is just the American style and that's what we're talking about today. So we've got some readings, we'll do some talking, and we'll answer some questions, and I'd like you guys, independent of this class, to practice some of this a little bit. And as always, I want questions. Always I want questions. Okay, let's get started. Now, this is all about writing an essay, and um, well, Alfredo just walked away. <laughs> let's see. Um, Hector, are you there? Let's see. Uh, Jaime Andres? Jaime? Yeah. Okay. Uh, would you like to start by reading this discussion right here of organizing the essay? So, I'm writing skills, working your way down to the word introduction. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Okay. Writing skills. A. Organizing the essay. An essay consists of several paragraphs that develop one topic. An essay has three parts. Keep, keep going. Let, let, hold on. Uh, I'll read that first paragraph about okay. the introduction. Okay. okay, the introduction. The introduction is generally one paragraph that introduces the topic Oh, sorry, I can't see. That's a, let me make anything. it bigger. Let me make it bigger. Yeah. Is, is that better? Yeah, it's better. Great, great. Okay. Uh, the introduction. Yes. The introduction is generally one paragraph that introduces the topic and tells the reader what is to come in the following body paragraph. The introduction contains the thesis statement which is the central idea of the essay. The thesis statement usually comes at the end of the introduction. Right. So that is what we call the thesis statement. Try that. Thesis. Say it that way, Hame. Thesis. Thesis. Very good. Yes. Okay. Uh, all right. So what we have is a, a style of writing where you want to inform or persuade somehow. Uh, and that's what an essay is all about. OK. Uh, Jaime, do you have a question about this at all? Any questions? No. No? no OK. No. Uh, does anyone else? Kang or Granyard? Anyone? All right. I, I I don't know. This this is a suggestion for, yeah. for the essay for the TOEFL exam. I don't know because I I'm just I start the class right now. Okay. Well, this this is how mm -hmm. we would look for an essay for the TOEFL exam. Okay. You're used to doing it a different way. Mm -hmm. This is what they're looking for with that exam. Um, we also have some very good TOEFL classes. I don't teach any of them, but there are some very good ones, and, and I strongly recommend you take those, too. Okay. Okay? Good question, and thank you. Okay. All righty. Uh, Khan, paragraph number two, please. Kang? Yes? Yeah. Can you read paragraph number two, please? The body... Oh, sorry, I, I don't see anything. It's, oh dear, you can't see the... Is it too small? Oh, okay, I see. Okay, good. The body paragraph, the number of body paragraphs depends on the number of main... Points. Points. Disappear. Points you want to discuss. 
Oh. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Oh, that's too bad. Okay. I'll go ahead and read it, and then we'll go on. And, and if you find the screen again, Kang, please come in. The body paragraph. The number of body paragraphs depends on the number of main points you want to discuss. The body paragraphs support the thesis statement in the introduction. Okay. Questions? All right. Marcos, Marcos Morales, can you read number three, please? Marcos? Okay, Meliani. Meliani, are you there? Meliani. Okay, guys, mm -hmm. let, let, me, let me explain something. This is an English class. Mm -hmm. We learn to speak and write English. Uh, let's, which means, in order to learn, I'm going to put the in, uh, link in just a minute. You must not only listen, but you should speak. Okay, you need to speak. That's the way you learn. So let's see, Meliani, are you there? Hello. Hello, Meliani. Ah, I can hear you. Very good. Let's go. Can you read number three, please? The conclusion. I'm sorry, sir. Can you read? Hello. Hello? I'm s yes. Yes. Low connection here. Oh, bad connection. Okay. Well, that I understand. Um, let's go to. Can Can you read this, Meliani, or do I need to go on? Blur. It's a blur. Okay. Uh, let me try something here. Does that help? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if you can read number three. Go ahead, guys. Go ahead. The conclusion, the concluding paragraph ends the, the essay. It sums up the main points or restates the thesis statement. It also leaves the reader with a final thought or comment on the topic. Okay, very good. Thank you. I, I'm going to point out something that this class, this this S, this part we're reading, is set up very much the way an essay would be set up. So following this as we go will be a very big help too. Okay, let's go to uh, Mustafa. Could you read this next paragraph, please? How are you, Mustafa? Okay, I'm fine. How are you, good. Mustafa? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Okay, so the number of paragraphs and essay should have depends on the depth of the writer's examination of, uh, of the topic. For this level, it says written in a class should contain from two to four paragraphs, as well as an introduction and conclusion. Okay, very good. All right, let's go back. Whoops, I was just checking on something. And let's go back. All right. Now we have um, Oliver. Are you there, Oliver? Yeah. Great. Okay. I want you to f read and follow this essay form from essay form all the way down to conclusion. Okay. This is kind of an outline format. Go ahead. Essay form introduction. General statement. Thesis statement. Body paragraph. Each body paragraph's body thesis. Body paragraph A develops a single point related to the thesis. Body paragraph B develops a second point related to the thesis. Body paragraph C develops another point related to the thesis. Conclusion. The conclusion restates the thesis or summarizes the main points and gives a final comment. Very good. Okay, so what you're looking at, this is just summarizing it, and I want to point out that the general statements and the thesis statement are usually for what you're looking for in the introductory paragraph. And body paragraphs A, B, and C follow each other logically. But what they do, and this is really a different way of thinking about it, what they do is support the thesis itself. 
what I'd like you to think about is a, um, a three or four legged stool. You've got the top, and that's the thesis statement, and each one of the legs is a body paragraph that holds the stool up. Okay? Um, the important thing is a stool, and it's being supported by the thesis, and the conclusion is the bottom of the stool that's holding it all into place. Okay? Now, I've, um, I've given you guys the link, and I cannot give you the PDF file to this, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry I can't do that, but that is, is just a, um, that's just a rule that we have because I can use this material to teach from, but I cannot use this material to give to you. This is copywritten material. All right. Thank you, Oliver. Let's go to a discussion of the introduction, and for that, Pablo, you there? Unmute yourself, Pablo. Yes, I'm here, but I can I cannot see the the, the screen. You cannot see the screen. You cannot see the cannot screen. screen. Yes. Well, let's see what I can do to help you. Uh, the, Some, sometimes it takes a little time to that you can see. Yeah. Yeah. It does happen. Um, it does happen. Um, can you see now, Pablo? Can you see now, Pablo? Uh, no. No, no, I no. cannot see. No. Okay. What I'd like you to do then is go ahead and follow along. Yeah, go ahead and follow along and, and ask questions. And ask questions. And by all means, try and get to another class later where you can see this. Uh, this, can see this. Class this class is taught frequently. class is taught frequently. Okay. 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 All right. But okay. stay with us. All right. But stay with and, us. And try to see, if you can see it. Let me know. Okay. Let me know. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to mute you for now. <laughs> okay. For now. Okay. All right, Alfredo. Yeah, David. The introduction. The, the introduction. The function of an introduction in an, in an essay is to introduce introduce the topic and present the thesis. An introduction should be interesting enough to make the reader want to continue and to find out what you have to say. Several strategies can help make you your introduction more interesting to the reader. Here are some suggestions. Okay, stop there. The whole idea behind an introduction is to grab someone's attention so they'll want you to you will want they will want to read your thesis and go on from there. That's the whole point behind this. So let's go to Graniard. Can you do number one, please? You there? Yes. Go ahead. Start with a strong opinion. Starting with a strong opinion can catch the reader attention because the reader may not have through of this point of video before. Continue. Yes, keep going. There are no creatures on earth less practical than humans, and nothing shows our frivolity. 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 I can see now, teacher. You cannot. Okay. What's going on today? Um, you okay. cannot see now. Is, is it back? Okay. Okay, go ahead. I I I can see now. I Good. see. There are no creatures on earth less practical than human, and nothing show our frivolity. Frivolity, yes. Frivolity better than fashion. From woman's hop scare Oops, to men scare to men's high hats, fashion victim victim through the age have endured the ridiculous, the undercomfortable and the absolutely danger is in the hair decided to be fashionable even our feet which are normally planted firmly on the ground have suffered have suffered the pains of the keeping up with the letter crazy with the latest craze all right i'll go ahead and good i'll go ahead and reread that and it says start with a strong opinion there are no creatures creatures on earth less practical than humans and nothing shows our frivolity 
better than fashion. From women's hoop skirts to men's high hats, fashion victims throughout through the ages have endured the ridiculous, the uncomfortable, and the absolutely dangerous in their desire to be fashionable. Even our feet, which are normally planted firmly on the ground, have suffered the pains of keeping up with the latest craze. Okay, so this is grabbing you and talking about something we all know about, but is actually silly. Frivolity, in case you're curious, means uh, pointless and silly. Frivolous. Uh, and what they're saying is some of the clothes. Um, if you think of some of the clothes people wear to look at the latest fashion, they're really silly. And that's the point he's making. Um, and here's his thesis statements. Nothing shows our frivolity better than fashion. That's what he's going to talk about. Okay, here's another one. And uh, Jaime, you there? Yeah. Great. Do number two for me, please. Start with a question. Starting with a question is a way of breaking into a subject. You can then use the rest of the essay, including the thesis statement, to answer the question. Keep going. Okay. Cleanlin clean, cleanliness? Cleanliness, that's how we pronounce it. Cleanliness. cleanliness, yeah. Okay, cleanliness is considered a virtue, but just what does it mean to be clean? As most of us have had the unpleasant <laughs> occasion to discover one person's definition can be quite different from another's. From Istanbul to Indianapolis, people have their own ways their their own ways of keeping clean and their own reasons for doing so. And their own reasons for doing so. Mm -hmm. okay. So there he's asking the question what does it mean to be clean? And that question is both an introductory question and a thesis statement. And here's what he's going to talk about. From Istanbul to Indianapolis, people have their own ways of keeping clean and their own reasons for doing so. He raises the question, and then he begins to answer that question in this thesis. OK, thank you, Jaime. All right, uh, let's see. Kang, number three, please. Start with... Oh. Yes, start with a quotation. Start with a quotation. quotation. Oh, I can read it. You cannot? I can see. You can't see, so we're still having some problems there. Okay. Um, Meliani, can you see? Meliani? Hello. Hello, Meliani. Can you do number three for me, please? Okay. Start with a quotation. Starting with a quotation can make your introduction lively. The, quot the quotation should be directly linked to the main idea of the essay. It might be a well-known saying, a remark from a well-known person, or a line from a song or poem. Let me have men about me that are fed. Say sex Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Oh, sex Shakespeare. Yes. Julius, <laughs> Julius Caesar to Marcus Antonius. In Julius Caesar's opi opinion, fat people are more trustworthy than Thin ones, that is, and uh, that is, those with a lean and hungry look, who are dangerous. Very good, thank you. So you're starting with a quotation, which is something somebody says, uh, and you're getting someone else's saying, and and bringing your person into the conversation with that. Very good, very good. Okay, uh, Mustafa, I'm going to actually break this. This is in two pages. I'm going to have to go backwards. Uh, let's see. We got some feedback from someone. I don't know who it is. Okay, Mustafa, number four. Okay. Start with an anecdote. 
Uh, this is an anecdote. It's it's a story, a story, a little story. Okay, start with an anecdote. Starting with an anecdote or story makes an abstract idea more real to the reader. The anecdote should be related to the thesis. Imagine walking on the surface of Mars. You follow the channels where water is believed. Uh, no. Is believed, yes, yes, is believed to have one float. Hick across the float plains covered with rocks of all sizes and jump the basin called Hellas. Hellas, yes. Hellas. Uh, measuring? This is. Yes, it is. Yes, because it's small to me. Oh, <laughs> measuring. Let me, let me try to make it a little bit bigger for you if I can, if it'll fit. Is that a little better? Yes, it's better. Thank okay. you. Measuring more than 930 miles uh, across. Okay, stop just there for a minute. Okay. This word, if you notice, is H-I-K, and it ends with an E. Do you see that? Yes, hike. Hike. There you go. <laughs> there you go. All right. Good. After you. After you. And I've got to go all the way back up to the top. <laughs> After you do something here, come on. Kevin. Yes. I have to leave the class. I'm so, so sorry. Okay, that's quite all right, Alfredo. Um, I'll see you again. I'll see you again, and thank you for the time you've okay, given us. Thank you. Okay, bye bye. Okay, Mustafa, finish up. After you. Okay, after you explore the cups, you climb the hug. Uh, ball, huge. Ball, huge. Huge, huge volcano. Volcano. Mm -hmm. Olympic uh, Olympus Olympus Mars, which is a twist as high as Earth's highest peak, seem impossible. It may be in the real world, but not in virtual reality. Not in, right. it not, but not in virtual reality, and that's what he's setting up from this really neat, interesting picture he paints us. And that's what an anecdote does. It's like painting a picture. Uh, it then goes into virtual reality, and that's what he's talking about. Okay, let's see. Uh, Nathan, hello, Nathan. Nathan, are you there? Okay, Oliver. We'll do this. Yep. An introduction has two parts, and then read hey. the paragraph about the general statement. Uh, you there, Nathan? Nathan? Okay, Oliver. Go ahead and read this oh, sorry, part. Sorry, teacher, my my screen is very slow. Okay, yeah, I, I can see you have a slow connection. I'm searching you. Okay, can you see the screen, Nathan? No, no. Okay. Yet. No yet. Not yet. Um, I'm going to ask. Um, I'm going to ask Oliver to read this paragraph, and and for you to follow. And if you have questions, by all means, please ask. Okay. Okay. All right. Very good. All right, Oliver, go ahead. An introduction. Uh, yeah. Uh, before that, I, yeah. I have a question about sure. the war. Could you put the last paragraph? <coughs> this part uh, or, or earlier? Earlier. Okay. And a paragraph that no, after that, there. Right here, okay. Uh, basin. What is that word? John, the basin is called a, Hellas. A basin. It basin. is uh, a hollowing out of the rock. It's like a very, very big, deep valley. Ah. Um, can you imagine like a wash basin is a, a, uh, a big thing that you put, a squared off thing that you put water in? Um, in this you, case, yeah. You mean like... The Colorado Canyon, but without the water. Well, you could even have water in a basin. The the great the Grand Canyon in Colorado has many different hills and valleys in it. A basin is one big valley, one big valley, and it usually empties into the water. Um, but yeah, it's 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 like you can consider it like a canyon. Only it's very wide, okay. wider than, than most. 
Does that help you? Yes, of course. Okay. Good, good. So let's go back up. And here we go. An introduction has two parts. Go ahead, Oliver. Okay. An introduction has two parts. General statements, one. Two, thesis statements. Very good. Now tell me about the general statements. General statements. The first sentence in an introductory paragraph should be a very general statement about the topic. Its purpose is to get the reader's attention, see the above introductions, and to give background information on the topic. Each statement that follows the general statement should be more specific than the one before it, usually ending with the thesis statement. Your introduction, therefore, will have a funnel shape as shown in the diagram below. Very good. And here's the diagram. And and you can see that Peter, it's a yes. Can you hold with the we at the can you hold the, the reader uh, in the screen when so, somebody is reading, we need to, to read too. Well, I have the screen up and you're right, you do need to um, at the same time follow but but see I have it up. Um, I can't do anything more than what I've done. Uh, do you see this paragraph on your screen instead of my face? Yes, I know. Yes, I see. Okay. So that that is what you're reading along with. Can you see this to read along with? Yes. Okay. Um, is there anything else you might like me to do? No. No. Nope. Okay. Yes. It's a suggestion. Yeah, but so. All right. Well, we're doing that. Um, anything else you want to add? That would be great. We're always open to listen. Uh, but now, Alam, welcome. And could you read the part about the thesis statement for me, please? Uh, yeah, yeah. Thesis statement. The thesis statement is usually the last sentence in the introduction. It is also the most important sentence. In the introduction, a thesis statement gives the specific topic and central idea of the world easy. It is the writer's approach to method of organization or attitude towards the central idea and mainly the subtopic that will be discussed in the body paragraph. Each of the topic sentence in the body paragraph should read. To the thesis statement. Okay, very good. So the thesis statement is the last sentence, usually, not always, in the introduction, and it's the most important idea. You're telling your reader that this is what I am writing about. And we'll go back up here very quickly and give you an idea. Now, we saw all this story of walking through Mars, right? And it ends in right here. Okay, what is impossible may be in the real world, but not in the concept of virtual reality. He painted this pretty picture and then brought you into getting interested in virtual reality, and that's what he's going to write about. You see? Okay, so that's our thesis statement. And, Grenier, okay. go ahead and uh, well, what I'm going to do is have each one of us read one of these statements. So, Granier, do this and read me number one. Go ahead. Remember these points. Is it the, okay? It's a state the it states topic. the main topic. A thesis statement. Yes, the states main the topic. main topic. This is what it's all about. Jaime, number two. Jaime, are you there? <laughs> Sorry, I, 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 I got my microphone. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. So it's, uh, it may list subdivisions of the topic. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's see. Kang, number three, please. It may indicate the method of organization. Okay, yeah, often they do that. Uh, Meliani, number four, please. It should be expressed in a complete sentence. Absolutely. Always complete sentences. Mustafa, number five. Yes. 
It should express an opinion, an idea, or a belief. It should not be a plain fact. Right. You'll give the fact later. This is what you are going to write about. Very good. Nathan, number six. It should express only one idea about a topic. If it expresses more than one idea, they say, ah, okay, more than one idea. They say we lack unity. Unity, yes. Unity. And we'll see some examples of that. Yes. Yes, thank you. And Oliver, number seven, please. It shall not use an answer topic. Very good. All right, now here's some examples. Um, let's start with Alam, and, and let's do this first example. Uh, yes, not to see this first one, right here. Uh, not at this statement. Did was contain artificial. artificial. So, sweetness. Yes. Diet colas contain. No, stop, stop, stop. Just this one. <laughs> Not a thesis statement. Diet colas contain artificial sweeteners. Why, Alam, is this not a thesis statement? Um, it's not a paragraph. No, it, it, it doesn't have to be a paragraph. It only has to be a complete sentence. But, but this still is not a thesis statement. Do you know why? Can you tell why? It, it doesn't meet one of the criteria. Do you remember? Guys, in class, talk to class. Okay, Alam. Let's go back up. Yes. Okay. Um, read number five for me, please, Alam. It shall express an opinion, an idea, or a belief. It shall not be a plain fact. Very good. Now let's go down here. And this is simply, it says, Diet colas contain artificial sweeteners. Is this an opinion? Is this oh. statement an opinion? Uh, this is a uh, this is statement. Yeah, it's it's just a plain fact, and because it's just a plain fact, it's not a thesis. A thesis is what you want to tell someone. Okay, so ah, uh, Daniel just went away. Granier. Yes. Great. Go ahead and read this next one. This is a statement. <clears throat> Artificial sweetener is a diet cause may be dangerous to one's health. Right. Artificial sweeteners in diet colas may be dangerous to one's health. Why is this a thesis statement? Okay. We know this is not, and why was it not? Because you you, you want to explain why the the artificial sweeteners in the colas is bad for for people. Right. In other words, what he is saying here isn't just that there are artificial sweeteners, but he's offering an opinion. They may be bad. This is just a statement of fact. This is a statement of opinion. And that makes it a thesis statement. I'm going to argue this point of view. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Hi, May. Yeah. Could you do this one, please? Not a thesis statement. Advertising of, on American television is becoming more sophisticated. And there are some interesting movies. Okay, so this is not an, a thesis statement. Why is it not a thesis statement?
because it's an idea, but you don't have a um, how how can I say that you 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 don't you don't have a an exact an an exact point to develop the rest of idea. Well, he does have an exact point. He does. Uh, what he's saying here is advertising is becoming more sophisticated. He's saying that. Mm -hmm. And he's also saying there are some interesting movies. Why is this not a thesis statement? Okay, he makes a major error here. Because it's a consequence. No, a consequence is okay. Read number six for me. It should. Somebody. It should express only one idea about a topic. Very good. It should express just one idea. Mm -hmm. If it expresses more, it's not. Hang on a sec. For some reason, there we go. It's not a thesis because it's going to lack unity. There's too many ideas here. You see? Mm -hmm. So just one idea, which is why this next one, which Kang is going to read, is a thesis statement. Kang, thesis, go ahead. Thesis, thesis statement. Advertising on American television is becoming more sophisticated. 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 In, in other words, more complicated. Uh, there's a lot more to it than there once was. So this is a thesis statement. Why? This is an opinion. It's more than that, though. We we said this one at the top is not. We said this is not. Why was it not a thesis statement? Because that expressed two ideas? Because it expressed two ideas. And this is, and why? But what, but what happened if, 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 anyway. if, for example? Wait a minute. Example. Let's, I'll tell you what. Let's answer Let's. this first question, and then I'll answer yours. Okay. okay. What, what happened? What wait, happened? wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this expresses only one idea. That's why it's a thesis statement. This expressed two, and that's confusing. This has only one, making it a thesis statement. Okay. Now, Jaime, what were you going to ask? But what happened? What happened if 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 I if I had the two ideas and and, and I develop the rest of the essay with the two ideas? Then you have the wrong thesis statement. Keep going. Keep going uh, no. Misunderstanding. Well, if you're starting to write the test and you've made that mistake, you're done. You, you might find some way to clean it up. Mm -hmm. But if you do want to write about these two things, advertising and movies, mm -hmm. you might change it and say instead, television programming or simply American television is becoming more sophisticated. And here are some examples. Advertising and movies. So those are two support paragraphs. You see? Yeah, okay. It's better, it's better <laughs> writing it related just to, with one idea to develop the, the essay. Yes, yes. yes. And, and because, again, you are demonstrating or supporting that idea. Okay? In American writing, you write to support a thesis. Always do that. It's probably the one rule you need to remember. Yeah, well, it's one of several, but this is good. All right, Oliver. This, this next one. I am going to write about traffic problems in Thailand. It's not a thesis statement. Why? Uh, it doesn't show an opinion. Oh, it definitely, yeah, yeah, it doesn't show an opinion. Um, and, and it's one other thing. Let me go back up and have a look. Uh, picture. Yes. 
Well, let me get to Oliver first. Uh, yes. Okay. It does... What, what you're doing here is you're simply announcing the topic. That's <laughs> number seven. This is what I'm going to write uh, about. Because this, cause this is planning. Okay, who's asking? Okay, let me uh, let me work with Oliver no. first. Oliver first. Oliver first. Oliver, do you understand? Yeah, sure. Okay, just a simple statement. This is what I'm going to do. All right. Now, like if I say I'm going to eat the apple, yeah. that is not a thesis statement. Not at all. It's not a thesis statement at all. You're correct. Um, I hope you like the apple, though. Yeah, very much. <laughs> very good for your teeth. They are very good, yes, for your teeth and for your body. I like oranges myself, but, but apples are good. I like all the food in general. Okay. All right, now somebody else had a question. <laughs> and, and the juice of grape, of course. And of, gra of course. The fermented juice of grape. Yeah, very well. Okay, Alam, did, do you have a question? Uh, uh, yeah. Not a thesis statement because uh, this is a plane. I'm sorry? Uh, I'm going to write about the topic of Apple in Thailand. This is a plane. Yeah, you, you, you're just saying, making a statement of fact. That's not, no. that's not making an argument is what we would call it. It's not a thesis to support. It's a simple statement of fact. That's all. Okay, and it's your turn anyway. So this last one is the thesis statement. Go ahead. Uh, this is the thing. Okay, just thesis statement. Just, just read that. Nice. Anybody? Come on. Alam, are you there? Yes. Okay, read that. That last part, please. Where it says thesis statement. Very good. Traffic problems. In, yeah, it is a thesis statement. Again, you're uh, making a complete. Go ahead. Uh, cause the, the uh, about. Well, the writer is stating an opinion. He's saying this is what it is. Okay, so traffic problems disrupt lives, and then he's going to tell us why. Okay. Uh, cause of my many accidents. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. You're, you're missing the point. All we're saying is this is a good thesis statement. Now, when you would go on to write, because there's many accidents, now you're getting into this next part, which is the body paragraphs. This is how they do it. Okay? Okay. All right, Daniel. Yes. Can you read this first part about the body paragraphs? Okay. The body paragraph. I can see now, teacher. Oh, you can't? Yes. Uh, let's see if I can make an adjustment here. Okay. It's better Got now. it? Okay. The number. No, it's present. Now the, the face, one guy, I don't know who, who is. Time. Hey, guys. Time. Please don't touch your screen. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Can you see it now? <clears throat> okay. The number I can see now is Jaime again. Okay. Please, please, please let me control who touches what picture. This is my job. Otherwise, you're going to mess everybody up. So click on where it says Kevin Butterfield on the lower section and where the words are, okay? Okay. All right. Then Can no, everyone see? Then. Everyone see? I can see now. Okay. All right. Go ahead. The number of paragraphs in the body of an easy writing for this class may run 
from 2 to 4. The function of the body paragraph is to explain or improve the thesis, the thesis statement. Very good. The number is to prove, like we've talked about before, it documents, it establishes, it, it supports the thesis statement. Very good. All right, now we've got some things to remember about it. Uh, Jaime. Jaime, are you there? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> hey, that's all right. On mute. There you go. Let's go to number one. Go ahead, buddy. Okay. Remember the following points about body paragraphs. One, the main idea of the body paragraph should support the thesis statement. If the thesis statement is about the advantage of exercise, regular exercise is beneficial to health, then the topic sentences of each body paragraph should be about how regular exercise is beneficial to health. Beneficial to health. Very good. Thank you. And now, Ken, number two, please. Each body paragraph should discuss one aspect of the thesis. If you are writing about the benefit of exercise, then each body paragraph might discuss one benefit of exercise for health. Okay, very good. So it's just one aspect of the thesis. Each paragraph supports one aspect. Don't try and do... Uh, uh, let's see. Oh, Mohammed, could you do that, please? Mohammed? Who? Yeah, Hi. Mohammed uh, Amasawa. I'm Mohammed. <laughs> Sorry. That, that's okay. <laughs> Mohammed, you there? All right, let's go to Oliver, number three, please. The body paragraph should follow a logical order. The order of the paragraph is determined by the type of organization you are using. Each body paragraph shall follow the other smoothly through the use transitions. Transitions. Very good. Very good. In other words, one to the other, uh, like, like I said, well, what you're talking about is the introduction. What we're going to talk about and but what you're saying is a body paragraph, and here's how we move to that. And then I did. I gave a transition and a logical order. All right. Let's see. Zinyu, how are you, buddy? <laughs> Zinyu, you there? Okay. Can you talk? Nope, no, cannot. 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 Okay, not a problem. Happy holiday, by the way. <laughs> this is, if, I don't know if you knew it, but in uh, China, it's a traditional spring day when many Chinese go out. And, and clean the, uh, their, their predecessors or ancestors' graves, uh, greet them. Um, it's a very, very old and established holiday and throughout the Mideast. So it's a good holiday. All right, Granier. Hey. <laughs> this is paragraph, please. Once you have written a thesis statement, you can deload the topic for the body paragraph in several ways. Depending on your thesis statement, you can focus each body paragraph one on one of the reasons, steps in a process, advantage and disadvantage, cause, effect, example, or point or of comparison and contrast. Okay. Good. The whole idea behind this paragraph is that yes, once you got your thesis statement, and I know I'm saying that a lot. But that's important. <laughs> you can then structure your paragraph different ways, but just be consistent. Okay? Let's see. That was, uh, who that? Granard? Jaime, can you yes. please read this next paragraph? A simple way of developing body paragraphs is to look at the central idea of the thesis statement and turn it into a question. The answers to the question will help you decide on the body paragraphs. Okay, good. So here is uh, a sample on that. And uh, Ken, can you read that for me, please? The whole thing. Example. Thesis 
sustaining regular exercise is beneficial for health. Question: In what way is regular exercise beneficial to health? Answer: Exercise is good for blood circulation. It burns up extra calories. It keeps the body and muscle flexible. Very good. Okay, uh, Muhammad, you there? Oliver, do the last paragraph for me, please. The central idea of the disease statement is beneficial to health. Asking the question, in what way? Provides the answer above. Each body paragraph called focus on a different benefit of exercise. Very good. Okay, guys, we have we have pretty much run out of time. We have maybe two minutes to go, and I, I want to take this last two minutes to address something I love to address is just answer some questions you might have about English, about America, about me, about anything you like. So who would like to ask a question of some kind? Or say something. <laughs> or say something. So the, the conclusion the conclusion is uh, when we are writing the the best way is just develop one idea. Develop, right, right. develop the thesis. Yeah. You you have your thesis, then you've got your supporting paragraphs, mm -hmm. and then one way to conclude it, and you should have that concluding paragraph, is to maybe mention an idea that from each one of those concluding paragraphs and saying, well, because it's good for weight, because it keeps you healthy, uh, because it eliminates toxins, exercise is good for health. You're taking those three things and putting it into the, the end and reestablishing the thesis you're trying to develop. Um, how, many, how many words should have the essay for the double epsilon? Well, let's see. I'm actually... Uh, uh, an average. It, does, it doesn't matter. Well, there is. There is a link to those things, and I'm looking for that right now. Um, I'm going to try and find you some samples. And come on, come on, come on. Uh, <laughs> Okay, this is this is a nice video about essay patterns, and this should help you. Paste. There we go. You click on that; that'll give you some ideas. And I do have another one that I saw that I liked. Uh, let's see. 